Are you alright? <coughs> Antimona, what is it? <sighs> Nothing, Finn, I'm fine. I just swallowed another tooth, that's all. Oh. A little bastard's been loose since last week. Don't worry. If I hadn't been this, it would have been something else. I'm all right, dear. I tell you, who isn't all right. You can see he's a goner, too. Look at his eyes in the rearview mirror. Stone cold. So awful, though. Poor man. He's got a little daughter, too, hasn't he? Borad. You all right, dear? I uh, just bumped me head, but I'm sure it's fine. Just hope it's not one of those things, you know, where you think you're all right because of the shock. But then after a few hours, you keel over and you wake up in hospital, hooked up to drips and wires and all sorts of shit like a robot. Finn! Sorry, Aunt Mona. I do get carried away sometimes. That poor woman's carrying a child. Well, she's carrying a child! There you go, dear. You all right? I think I'm okay. I think we're both okay. I felt him kick a few minutes ago. My name's Kate. What's yours? I'm Mona. And I'm not going to leave your side until I know that you and your baby are safe. You understand? No one's going to miss a whopping great bus like this all mangled on the side of the road, are they? So? Gonna be a beautiful boy, is he? Oh, that's wonderful, love. It's great that something nice is gonna come out of all this god awful mess. Finn! Yes, Auntie. Come and hold this to this lady's head, will you? I need to check something out. And keep the pressure on it. They say that a lot on the telly, don't they? I haven't the foggiest, missus. I knew it! Finn, your crony nearly got this lady and her baby killed. He ain't my friend. I saw him at anchor once. He bought me a pint. Though he said we weren't going to see him anymore. Poor guy. Well, regardless. He's been chomping down these pills like they were bleeding smarties. It's a suicide mission. Mark my words. Here, look at this. Where'd that come from? It's back. It's got a lady's name on it. What's the bet? It's some dolly bird what's given him the elbow. That's none of our concern, is it? Oh. It's only one way to find out, isn't there? You can't do that. I really wouldn't try and argue with her. Why not? Because it don't do any good. Shut up, Finn. I wasn't talking to you. Oh, that man's body's barely on slab and you're snooping through his stuff. I mean, have a heart. This wretched man could have been the reason that you might have never met your unborn child and you lecture me on heartlessness. Well, I just think it's a bit unhealthy thinking about words like could and might. We're both safe somehow. I just want to go home to my husband now and celebrate the fact that we've still got a family. And wow, to desecrate the memory of a man that's... I just can't do that. Well, apparently this ungrateful hippie doesn't care half as much for her own baby as I do. Fine! I'll show you how much I care. Two Daisy. Happy 21st birthday. Single malt whiskey and dodgy tickers are not an advisable mix, but just because I can't have the pleasure anymore, it doesn't mean that you can't. Love, Dad. My 
must have been his heart. Well, what exactly does this prove? Oh, for the love of... Careful, missus. you got your little to think of. If we can survive the company of Miss Marple over here, we can survive anything. Now, please. Well, you can ask him yourself now, can't you? <laughs> 